Independent music artists need to make money from their digital assets. Now, I know you might not know what these are, but I'm going to break it down to you. Currently, you're in your own way because you don't know the digital real estate you have or let alone what it is. So, of course, you're having trouble generating money from your music. And this means you're unsure about how to maximize your online presence. Now, I believe artists should be fairly compensated for what they create. But how are you going to be fairly compensated when you don't know what you're selling or what you own or what you have in the first place? That's why we got to break down these five ways, these five assets that are going to generate you a lot of cash flow in your music career. Coming up next right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham and let me say this, it wasn't until I understood what I'm going to show you next that I understood how you can make a lot of money in this business. This was the key point where I said, oh, this is how we gonna make some money, but you gotta understand what I'm saying. I am speaking from a little bit of an advanced standpoint in today's video, just follow me. Appreciation, what is it? It's an increase in monetary value. The appreciation of the franc against the pound. Ultimately, to simplify it, it is the appreciation of your asset, the appreciation of your music of your social media, of the contents of the social media, of your email list, of your website, of your fan base. It is the growth of it. And when things grow, you know money comes along with it, okay? Its antonyms are depreciation and decrease, and that's where we don't wanna be. So follow me here, check it out. Let's play a game of Monopoly. Follow the rules. In the game, the core action is to acquire real estate, appreciate the real estate, make a fortune, and bankrupt the other players. Now, of course, you're not really bankrupting anybody. What you're doing is you're borrowing the market for, you're cornering the market for a certain amount of time. All right, you wanna bankrupt these other players. And then you're gonna buy the barren property as your foundation, but you're gonna do that first. Now, I'm gonna mention the 60-day record label course you see in the bottom right-hand corner throughout the whole video because that is a very important key to what we're doing. The foundation. We're buying the barren property as the foundation, but in order to establish it in this particular world, we're not buying real estate. We have to create intellectual property, and that's what we do. So we must secure that when we acquire it so people don't steal the sucker. You know what I'm saying? And it's got to be protected the right way. That's all in the 60 day record label course. I'm going to beat a dead horse to death in this video. So this is ultimately the overview of what a typical deal looks like. Okay, and the 360 deal in the 60 day record label course will explain this. You're going to put one house on the property, which is you establish the property. You got the business set up, the LLC, all that stuff, the accounts, your copyrights, all that. You're going to make an album and you're going to appreciate that property with one album. And then you're going to put a second album on the property. And then you're going to put a third album on the property. And then you're going to put a fourth album on the property. By then, now nobody's doing greatest hits anymore, but you can do a compilation album or you can do like a album of all four together and sell it as a, like a collector's item pack or whatever you do at level five, you can do that. That's the hotel. Like, okay, we built all, we built the foundation, the four sides. Now we're going to put the hotel on top. Boom, we're in the game. And lastly, you want to form a cartel or monopoly on the block by buying the block. And that's three to four properties in the game of Monopoly. And this could be three to four artists. Now, in this case, with you as an artist, if you can take and duplicate this or you can sign a producer and songwriter, do that. So if you have the artist and you say, OK, I'm going to sign this songwriter and I'm going to sign this producer and, you know, they do it all day. I'm no offense to songwriters and producers, but you can sign them to a publishing deal if you want to and let your company handle the publishing, not for just them to lock them down, but for all of these. Like, hey, look, I'm going to pay you more money and buy you out of your publishing of these albums. And you do it after I'm just giving you real hardcore game. You do it after the fact, not to be sleazy, but. Some people might need some money, so you just go ahead and buy them out. Buy them out early, and now you have monopolized your entire block. Easier said than done, I know. Now, our first asset is the music. We established the foundation with the 60-day record label course, but music is our foundation building block. Independent music artists can use their music to sell their viewpoints and guide their fans toward making purchases through the music, through insinuating certain things. They can embed personal beliefs and values in their lyrics and encourage fans to support their message and leverage the emotional connection to their music for sales. Music makes people emotional and eventually they'll do stuff with that. 
So this approach allows artists to monetize their music while staying true to their artistic vision. If you start with great music, now the asset gotta be great. You don't wanna be on Baltic Avenue. Some of y'all got Baltic Avenue music, like it's slumlord type of music. And then some of y'all have some really good stuff. Like you down there on Illinois Avenue or North Carolina Avenue, wherever it is, right? Some of y'all on boardwalk. People rarely land on the boardwalk, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's really fancy music, but nobody listens to it. But it's really, really great music. Because even the slumlord that's making music down there on Baltic Avenue, you see what I'm saying? Like people will listen to it, but it won't generate a lot, as much money as you want it to. And it won't last as long. It'll be cheap. See what I'm saying? Now, the website is your cash machine. Follow me with this now. I'm quite sure you understand by, you know, from watching my channel, but a well-designed website can help you monetize your digital real estate by offering a variety of products such as merchandise, music, and exclusive content. They should feature easy-to-use purchasing options and update your inventory and promotions regularly. All right? Please do that. Like, create new merchandise with your, with your creative team. To further capitalize on your website, you can promote upcoming events, releases, or collaborations, share testimonials or, ad or success stories, and utilize banner ads or sponsored content. Now, in the 60-Day Record Label course, we talk about owning your website, right? The URL, all that stuff. But what I'm focusing on is the money, the data, the analytics, the emails, all the customer contacts that you have in this website. This right here is your main asset asset and record labels know this. They just don't make it a, a, a big thing with you because they know that as long as that website link is on your Instagram profile, TikTok profile, in your descriptions, wherever it is, this is where the money will be generated. Of course, they can make money from Spotify and people just going on Ticketmaster and whatnot, but they know that if you're a true fan, you're going to come to this website and they can push anything they want to push through this website, like work pushing real work through it. Email contents, to effectively monetize through email. This is your asset, your third asset. To effectively monetize through email, you can offer exclusive merchandise, promote limited edition releases, and showcase collaborations with other artists and brands. Additionally, you can partner with brands that align with your values and promote products and services that you genuinely believe in. Now, by leveraging your influence, artists can generate income through the power of email. This allows you to stay closely connected. Because, uh, you know, when Twitter had, I mean, Twitter has push notifications. TikTok has push notifications. We get this. You, your fans may get it. They may not. But now that your email list is here, you can put stuff in it. And we're going to get to social media in a minute. But you can put stuff in it and advertise with it. You can push directly to your fans, to the phone. They're going to see it a lot more than they would see, you know, a social media post. And so once they see that, you're in, you're winning. We haven't even gotten on, we haven't even gotten to social media yet. Only thing we did was put out some music, we built the website, and we already secured three assets with the 60 day record label course after we built the foundation. I mean, this is digital real estate at its finest because when we jump into the social media posts, I'm not even going to hit the content on this one. The next asset is your description section. We're talking about your following now, but in the grand scheme of things with the digital real estate, everything is monetizable. That's why on the bottom right hand of the screen, you see the 60 day record label course ad. But I could put any ad there I wanted to by just having real estate on the screen available. I could put something back here in, you know, in the video back here. If I wanted to, I'm not because it's going to look tacky, but I could do that. Now, artists can monetize their social media presence by actively engaging with fans and followers in the comment section, responding to questions and feedback, and showing appreciation for fan support. And you want to set a one to two hour window to respond after your post, after you post, because after a while, once you start getting big, you don't have time to, do, to respond to everything. It's too much. It's too much. So in the description or caption section, you can include relevant links for products, services that employ persuasive language to encourage engagement. And when you have influence, people will go where you tell them to go. Ultimately, as artists, you have to understand this. So take some of the creativity that you have with the music and be, and be creative in the way that you're going to sway your audience to come and purchase from you. This allows you to win with your digital assets. Now, now we're going into the social media content. And I'll further explain what I just said about my advertisement on the bottom right. Now, monetizing social media content involves artists representing their personal brand or endorsements through their wardrobe. 
promoting merchandise or collaborations and creating a unique and recognizable image. They can also share authentic experiences and opinions, inspire and motivate their audience and discuss relevant topics and issues that push followers to ultimately make a purchase. Showcasing live performances or events, collaborating with other artists or influencers and sharing behind the scenes content creates a story and allows you to monetize your social media content. Now I sell and everything I do, it, it just is what it is. But as an artist, you're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to go as hard body as me. But this is what I do. But you can sway people creatively. Buy this t-shirt. Buy the ticket. Join the virtual concert. You see what I'm saying? Go do this. Whatever you want them to do. And they'll go do it. Oh, man, that, t- that, that hoodie is tight, man. Where can I get one? Oh, hit the link in the bio. Go get you one. And your website is generating cash for you, whether it's a Shopify or whatever it is you have. That's what you're going to do with your social media. On top of that, you can sell the attention, which is the economy we live in. You can sell this attention to people who want to utilize the attention. You see what I'm saying? Who want to be in front of the eyeballs. So will focusing on my monetization compromise my artistic integrity? Not really. You'll have to tailor things a bit for the sake of integrity. But as long as you don't dig too deep into doing things solely for money, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Like I know it's a lot to think about. But also, when you start to see them checks, you're going to be like, all right, shoot, what else can we do, man? And that's what you're going to be. How can I maintain my authenticity while promoting products and services? Make sure those products relate to you and what you stand for. This is when you step outside of like the merch that you want to give to the people and have them buy. When you got to sell other people's stuff, make sure the brand deals that you do, managers with your artists or artists with the brand with the brands, make sure... It correlates with the audience and your personal lifestyle interests. You see what I'm saying? What if my audience perceives me as a sellout? As long as you keep your progress balanced between creating and presenting better art and making money, you'll be fine. So I have designed a framework to help you establish your record label in a perfect 60 day sequence because the monopoly game we talked about in the beginning and creating the intellectual property, which is the album, the masters, the publishing, the website, the money, the business, all of that has to be done underneath an LLC. And we need a business bank account to make it work. And I'm going to put them together flawlessly for anonymity for you inside of this course. And then we're going to set up your records and publishing division to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15% because you're going to need that 15% down the line before you actually do a real publishing deal. All right. Utilize the contract templates to get you in the game the right way. Really understand what these contracts are so that you know, like, okay, I don't want to do a deal like that. Or if it comes across my table, I'm doing something like this. All right. Look at everything that's covered. BMI, ASCAP, Sound Exchange, the MLC, Music Reports, Harry Fox Agency. It just goes on and on. All right. Ultimately, this is what it costs. Not much, a little bit for a lot. And I'm going to save you 12 months of time because I've did this several times with so many people and it takes 12 months, but I've put it in a magic sequence that will take you 60 days to make it happen. And I've done it this way as well for several other people. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do after book a call with me. If you got some questions or let's build a strategy together so you can win. I want you to do that. I'm here for that. I'm a consultant. I'm a strategist. Utilize me. All right. You can do this down below. And if this is your first time watching the channel, grab the free stuff below. Now this is where I want you to be. Ultimately, you're going to achieve some consistency in your online presence and engagement. But then what, what's going to happen is we're going to make the targeted marketing and promotional strategies actually work because they're tailored to you. Once you understand what your audience wants and who you are, we can make that happen. And then you're going to develop a loyal and engaged fan base because they're like, oh, this guy is really centered into the self and he knows himself or herself. This allows you to collaborate with like-minded artists and brands because now we know the market that we're in. We know our lifestyle interests and we're gearing things towards that, which brings brands along that are geared towards your lifestyle interests. So you can work with like-minded artists and you can grow a lot faster in your niche And this allows you to to diversify the income streams, of course. That's what we've been talking about. And you can stay informed on music industry trends and best practices because of it. Because once you start moving, you're not going to stop the gravy train. All right. But this is you probably right now. Neglecting to engage with fans and followers, relying solely on one income stream, which is the music, which come on, man. And you're failing to adapt to industry changes and trends. This is where you're going to end up if you don't really monetize the assets that you're going to naturally generate anyway. So 
go back here, go back to the 60 day record label, grab that course, build the foundation, build your first properties, appreciate the properties so you can get here so we can monetize the digital assets that you will create and you can win in this game. And then all of the other musicians and artists around you will say, man, how'd you do that? And you're going to be like, hey, man, musicmoneymakeover.com. If you take some of the assets that we talked about, not even all of them, just some of them, take some of those assets, build the foundation around it with the 60 day record label. And I guarantee you, you're going to move from like, oh, my God, I'm not making any money to like, oh, this is possible. Yeah, we can. Let's make this happen, baby. And that's why I want you to be. Visit musicmoneymakeover.com. Jump into the 60 day record label. Grab the free stuff below. Book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com. And I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>